Yo, what's going on guys? My name's Oh My God, your head's gone, and today I'm bringing you guys some Call of Duty Ghost gameplay on the map Tremor, and we are playing Domination, and I get some decently high strike package kill streaks in this gameplay, so hopefully I can give you guys some tips that should help you guys get some higher kill streaks. So let's start off with what I run in my actual setup. Uh, in this game, I'm running the assault rifle or an assault rifle which is the Remington uh, R5, which is one of the better assault rifles. I definitely say it has a pretty low amount of recoil and overall kills rather quickly. And on it, I'm using the red dot sight, which always helps with precision aiming and keeping on target and things like that. And then the silencer, because I find that the silencer is pretty important in any public match game. Because when you get a kill without a silencer, I find that generally speaking, most people are just going to be staring at their radar on the enemy team. And they're going to kind of come at you from all directions. And it really leaves you open to get flanked in a really easy manner. So basically... By running the silencer you can get kills and you can be in the enemy base and kind of be picking them off in their base and the enemy usually doesn't even realize it and you can kind of go undetected and keep on getting flank kills like that whereas if you don't have the silencer they're going to see that red dot on the map and you're going to have to deal with a lot more enemies running at you at the same time and it kind of leaves you open. To die a lot easier so let's move on now going on to my perks what I am running is the ready up perk first off because it helps you win a lot more gunfights in in the game Call of Duty you're gonna be sprinting a lot and uh, being able to actually aim down the site quicker after sprinting is going to be a really key factor in winning those important gunfights so next off I'm using the stalker perk which is pretty much a must-have on any assault rifle class that you're using because it allows you to strafe back and forth when you're in a gunfight and by strafing you actually easily avoid enemy bullets and it makes a person that doesn't have good aim have a much harder time actually keeping on target and aiming at you and generally speaking you're gonna notice that you win a lot more gunfights so it's a pretty important perk and I definitely recommend it but anyways let's move on my next two perks are dead silence and and awareness or uh, amplify in this game so dead silence and amplify and I know I'm gonna get some flack for this but hear me out guys if you are running a headset while you play Call of Duty these two perks in combination are gonna help you tremendously probably more than a lot of other perks in this game uh, when you guys are trying to get higher kill streaks or chem strikes or anything like that you're gonna realize how bad the spawns can be in this game when you're trying to actually move around the map You'll notice that you might push into the enemy spawn a bit too far and an enemy is going to spawn behind you and you don't really have a fighting chance in that gunfight. But if you're actually running Amplify and Dead Silence together and you have a headset, you're going to be able to hear that guy start moving behind you and you'll be able to turn around and actually have a fighting chance in that gunfight which should hopefully give you an opportunity to win it and thus continue your kill streak. So that's why I recommend those perks. And the final perk that I highly recommend you guys use is Quick Draw because just like Ready Up, it actually allows you to aim down your sight a lot quicker. And again, it's going to help you win a lot more gunfights that you meet uh, in a head on scenario. So, say you're sprinting around the corner, a guy pops up. If you have Ready Up and Quick Draw in combination, you're going to be able to aim down the sight and get your shots going off quicker than he does or quicker than he will if he doesn't have those perks so that's why I recommend those perks guys and I think if you guys run them in combination they should help you improve your gameplay but anyways let's talk about the actual kill streaks that I'm using in this gameplay I'm using the battle hind helo pilot and Loki uh, the battle hind I believe is a 9 kill streak the Loki or sorry the helo pilot is a 12 kill streak and then the Loki is a 15 kill streak and these are a part of the strike package so you have to get the kills consecutively but kills from your battle hind at the 9 kill streak will actually lead you towards your helo and Loki kill streak so basically all you really have to do is get a 9 kill streak and you should be able to get the rest of your kill streaks but I noticed that the battle hind isn't the greatest uh, kind of kill streak. It's, I'd say, a lot weaker than the Pavlo would be in in previous games for the nine kill streak. Uh, it's kind of like a weakened 
attack helicopter or it's I'd say it's a lot similar to the attack helicopter from Modern Warfare 2 which really didn't do too much damage it's a bit better but uh, then the next kill streak is the helo pilot and this is like the chopper gunner of the game and I definitely say it's probably the best and most effective kill streak in the game it's gonna get you a lot of kills and finally here the last kill streak I'm using is the Loki and I honestly don't really recommend it for a 15 kill streak that has to be consecutive kills it's just not really worth it because it doesn't get all that many kills for you. Uh, the camera angle that you are controlling it from is a really bad one. It doesn't allow you to angle the missiles into buildings. So if any enemies are hiding, you're pretty much screwed. And on top of that, there's a huge delay in the actual release of the missile. So you don't, uh, you don't have that really quick kind of firepower. And, uh, and by the time the missile actually hits the ground, the enemy has generally gone away and it won't kill them. And on top of that, uh, you also get, I think, a Juggernaut that is NPC controlled that I actually forgot to drop during that video. For some reason, I didn't realize that I could drop one. And you also drop a care package for your teammates. But uh, overall, it doesn't get that many kills. And I'd say the Helo Pilot is a much more effective strike kill streak. So uh, that's the one I would recommend in a setup. If I were to recommend just a strike setup, I'd probably say use the guard dog and then the battle hind and the helo pilot. Uh, and that should be the most effective setup for the strike package. But anyways, guys, uh, this is going to wrap up the gameplay. I hope I helped you guys out. If the gameplay or my commentary helped you guys out at all, just leave a comment down below, like the video and subscribe. Otherwise, have a great day. Peace.